Hey everybody, welcome to Intimate Relationships online course for the summer. I'm not sure how many of you have had an online course before. Um, this is my second time teaching Intimate Relationships on course. I did it last summer as well. And I just first want to welcome you as a group. Um, hope you had a uh, good break. My name is Jan Todd. Uh, I'll be your instructor for the summer. Um, I want to make sure if you haven't done an online co course that you know how to work modules, do uh, the basics for being able to do your work because we don't meet face to face. We do a lot of sharing online. And so I want to go through the modules and under, have you understand your Canvas page a little bit uh, before you get started for the semester. We start officially on Monday, and so uh, some of your assignments will be due um, in that time. So let's look at the screen together. Uh, first of all, if there's any announcements, I will often post announcements, and I want make, to make sure people are aware of those announcements. And so just recently in your student view, you can go to these. They typically can also be forwarded to your um, email, and so that way you can catch those. In the summer session, since we're only meeting for six weeks, so it's really important to pay attention to those announcements. If something changes, um, we get behind on something or something happens to where um, maybe I'm not able to con connect with you. This is the greatest thing about online. Typically, the modules are set up ahead of time, so that happens very rarely. But if there's something that goes on, this is where I would check, and especially if I change uh, assignment dates or something like that, which would help you in the long run. Again, the home has been set up with the modules and the to-do list is over here. If you look, there's assignment. Discussion one is due May 23rd. And then we have a collaboration. I'll talk about that in a little bit where I want us to get together to talk. And I'm actually going to change the date on that already. Um, I'm going to go ahead and see if I can move that collaboration to the following Monday. Um, the reason I am doing that is because I will be out of town for my anniversary. So. Um, wanted to change that and I'll, let, I'll have that done before Monday. Discussion responses are something that are important not only to post discussions, um, which will have a certain word count about certain topics, but also to respond to your classmates. You get points for that as well. And this shows you all the points here. And then there is on Sunday is typically when I see written work or something that is, um, and I want you to know that for most, most of the um, projects. I want you to use proper grammar, but I also want you to use your own voice. Um, I also want you to be relaxed in it. You know, we're not going to be having you cite a ton of things um, as we're kind of learning about a life topic together. Um, and then discussion three, um, you see it just kind of goes and then there's quizzes that we will have. And those quizzes are open book there to help you with the final exam. And um, then the final project we'll also talk about throughout. So let's look over here. Um, another way to keep track of things, again, is the syllabus, and I've posted everything. One thing I want to highlight, I am a high uh, interaction teacher, meaning I love for you to contact me if you're having issues with something. Um, and so the best way to contact me, even though I will respond to my email, is feel free to text me at 913-553-0267. You'll see that at the end of all my videos as well. Um, this tells you the over, uh, overview of everything we're learning and how I'm doing all of the scales. It also gives you an idea of some of the videos as everything is kind of connected here. There are a lot of videos when we do um, this course, and so I want to make sure you have as many uh, connections to that as possible. And then you can go down here and you can see all the different types of uh, assignments as they're connected there. So the syllabus is kind of interactive um, if you're ever questioning anything. The modules themselves, which is also set under the home, just FYI, I've got them in two places, so if you're ever wondering. First I do an instructor lecture. I've gone ahead and used the ones that I did last semester. I felt like they were you know, just as good, not, no need to re-record re them. But you also need to recognize how things are set up. For example, when you go to the lecture, you'll go ahead and go to this and it'll take you to my YouTube channel. And there you'll be able to witness the lecture. A lot of times people can break it up if they want to. Um, sometimes put it on in the background. A lot of times I'm talking about things, but I've also uploaded all the files so that you can go back without the lecture and see all of the slides and the definitions. 
So that's helpful for you as you work through the lecture series. But I also don't go ahead and embed the video because that makes the lecture just extremely long. And so I try to tell you, go look at this video and then make sure to do these videos a little bit later. So the videos are tucked in here. This is the little link. And anytime you see a link sign, that means that there's a video and it will once again take you. And sometimes that is embedded. For example, what is intimacy? Go ahead and hit that play and you'll see the video. I use videos a lot of times as questions um, or ways to answer questions for quizzes and exams. So don't just go over the lecture, make sure to do the videos as well. Anything Dr. Helen Fisher, I use her a lot. So make sure to watch the entire video on those as well. Then as you see these types of things, this is the kind of symbol here for discussions. And if you've never done a discussion before, it's really pretty darn easy. Um, a lot of times, so you go in and it's not open at this point, it will open officially. There are questions that are in the discussion that I have, for example, introduce yourself. So the introductions are something that tell you, um, you know, tell us about who you are, that kind of thing. And then, so that's our basic initial introduction. And then your intimate relationships, this is assignment, which is a little different than a discussion. And it is to write a short two page double spaced essay on intimate relationships within your life. You may want to go ahead and watch my lecture video to kind of see what intimate relationships are. Maybe you don't have a good idea of, of what that actually means. A lot of people don't. Um, it's okay because that's what we kind of learn together. Um, the videos uh, are something that I'd like you to incorporate in this, however, so you might go ahead and look at some of, of those. Then look at my criteria. I often try, try to give you um, a sense of what I'm looking for. Um, obviously, the completion of the assignment, grammar and spelling, but did you use the materials? Um, those are there for you. I've put them in there for your use, so that's hopefully something you'll get into. Then this is a thread that I also want to make sure uh, we'll have three collaboration sessions. Um, and this has a little instruction video on how to join the video conference. I set that up. Like I said, I'm going to move that to the first one being um, uh, the uh, Monday is what I'm going to try to see if I can do. I also want to get some collaboration times with you at times that work better. I always record the collaboration sections, meaning that if those sessions are something you absolutely can't attend, um, you can get to them and get some important information because it records all of the conversations, the chat, and if there's something I've shared. Often I will share things about the final project in that as well. Those collaborations make sure we're in a face-to-face -face kind of mode at some point and making sure you're not going to do that a whole lot, but making sure you have a, a good idea about what that final project is all about. So your first week, this is basically an introduction week and we kind of get an idea of what intimate relationships are. Then we hit module two and this is where it starts to get a little bit more meaty. I have two lectures that are important to get through because the six week series is very um, short and compact. There's a lot of times I will go ahead and have a couple lectures. So go ahead, watch the le lectures at whatever time. You don't have to wait for next week to look at that lecture. If you want to look at it, you know, right after you've looked at the first one, fine, that works great. But the discussion then will be about theory and gender spectrum. It'll take you to this. Once it's open, we'll have some questions for you to answer. And then again, there are several. Uh, crazy love is very important. This one, gender and sexuality, the double standard, all of this we start to get into our ideas of sexual orientation and gendering and you know, all the different components. But we also have to go through some theory because this is an actual uh, science, intimate relationship science tells us a lot about how we connect with each other. So um, again, the slides are here and I'll show you where those slides are right now. I'll take a little bit of time to do that. If you go into um, files, which is right here, you'll be able to find all the images and all of the different presentations here without my voiceover. So that later on when you're taking quizzes, you can use this. Um, this is the final presentation guidelines, by the way, which I will go over in our first collaboration session. And you're gonna do a voiceover for that. Um, so it's important to, um, see if I can get this to move. Yeah. 
All right, let's see if this cape works. Sometimes when I'm doing my Zoom, it does a little crazy thing for me. So um, let me just take that down for a second so I can get to, there we go. And I'm back. Okay. Um, so this is where a lot of times I will put, you know, your final presentation guidelines, list of examples for final projects. Um, some of the, the forms that I use, and I may uh, upload some of those throughout as well. Okay, let's go back to the modules again. Let's see week two. Again, anything Dr. Uh, Fisher uses, I, I absolutely use her a lot. Um, these are all important for us to recognize. Um, I think this is really interesting. Safe sexting, very modern thing of what, well, modern, I guess, you know, sexy may have been going on since we've had the smartphone. So. Um, but it's becoming part of the, the general topic. So making sure we understand things like third sex and, and um, those types of things. Then you'll notice at the end here, there is a quiz. And the quiz, you go into it, it will be unlocked. And um, I'm actually opening that, uh, and it's due June, June 2nd. Um, so you're going to have some time for that. I may unlock that a little bit too for a little bit more time. Um, so we look through all of those. The quizzes are 15 points. One thing I want you to know about my quizzes. Every question that's on the quiz will be on the final exam. I'm basically using quizzes to help you prepare to take the final exam in a way that um, you can kind of bolster what the uh, work of, of this semester or the six weeks uh, module is all about. The quizzes will not be open, however, during the exam. So when I have that exam open, I will have a qu quizzes closed. They will up be open up to the point of the exam, um, like the night before the exam opens. So you can use those to study. Again, final presentation collaboration on co co uh, conference. That's where I'll talk a little bit more with you about what I'm expecting in that final. Module three, we kind of pull off back again. Uh, March two is, is pretty heavy, but we get back into our understanding about mate selection and attraction, things that are interesting to us, why we're attracted to people. And again, your discussions are here. Uh, I want to remind you that every time you do discussion, most of them are due by Wednesday, except for the first week, which is it's by Thursday. And so that discussion, um, you'll talk a little, make sure to meet the word count, I think it's 500 to 750 words, and then about a 50 word um, response, which um, I basically ask you to go back into the thread within a couple days, have read everybody's and respond to at least two people. We're also gonna take a personality test. I'm not sure if any of you've taken the Myers-Briggs, but it's important uh, to understanding ourselves and then a lot of times it's a lot of fun. I use this when I'm doing counseling. I'm a pastor, by the way, as well in the United Methodist Church. And I'm a PhD student working on my uh, degree at Kansas State, hopefully to defend next spring. So excited about that. Um, but anyway, uh, this week is one where we're gonna take that test and then we'll share a little bit about that in our discussions. So that test will be due on the Tuesday of that week. This is another important thing for you to recognize, is that I use uh, full movies, documentaries or movies, um, and these are both documentaries, for you to uh, have for your essay questions to be able to apply. And so when you go to this link, this is Dear Zachary, it has a little link to the movie. Um, it's gonna take a little bit for it to show up here, but you can watch the entire movie there. Um, if you want it, typically is on Netflix or I believe Amazon Prime. You wanna watch it on your TV. Um, but I wanna make it sure all the movies are accessible and free. So that's important. Quiz two, same basic thing. We're starting to get to the basics here. Module four, instructor lecture. We're gonna talk about communication a little bit more and have discussions about that. Once again, watch all the different videos. This one in particular is important. And um, I would say this one, the two, is very important. Um, quiz three, final presentation collaboration. This is where we will have our final collaboration together, talking about the final and also getting any questions about the course opened. When we get to week five, I'm hoping that you'll have your idea for your final presentation, which I'll, I'll go over that in just a second. Um, 
But again, we have uh, another discussion. We'll talk about marriage, divorce, context. Um, and there's another movie called Autism and Love. About mo Most of these are hour and a half tops, maybe hour and 10. Um, so that's the link to Autism and Love. And the assignment uh, for Autism and Love is to kind of walk, write about that in an essay. And then there may be a short part in the exam. We finally get to week six. There are several things. Um, we talk a little bit about parenting and divorce. There's an important video. I show this in every single piece. It's a live birth video. Um, we're going to be talking about uh, parenting and the process of divorce continuing on from marriage up here where we kind of talk about preventing it. And um, also, you finally have your exam that will be due and the final project. The final project is due before the final exam because I want you to peer review and I will assign peer uh, review folks to each other to have you look at least two or three of your peers and that will also add extra points to your final project. Now let's look at the final project so you get an idea again. I think that dates off but I will get that changed. Um, it is due by the Wednesday of the last week, and you're going to pick a topic, something maybe from this entire uh, course or something maybe even that isn't listed here. You can choose all kinds of things. Maybe you want to talk about friendships, technology, marriage in modern times, languages of love, modern dating, hookups, gender spectrum, whatever, rape culture, violence, all of this. If it's especially something that you're interested in, I want you to do some more research on that topic that basically creates a presentation and that presentation you'll need to use resources from the class as well as two outside resources and I like my resources to be what I call either peer-reviewed or at a high quality of something where it's peer-reviewed so don't just use a blog don't go online and just say hey let's find something that I type in and get the first thing and no, that's not how to do research. So make sure to, um, you know, if you're looking at the Myers-Briggs, for example, go to the actual MBTI site. Um, that's peer reviewed. That means that people are working on that as kind of their project in psychology. Um, or look at journal articles. Or if you do something like psychology today, I'm okay with that. But I'm not okay with Joe Schmo's psychology thoughts. <laughs> you know, it's something to have a little substance to it so that we're learning from each other. Um, so make sure, and, and then of course, you can use the text and any of the slides as some references, but don't use those as the only references. I want some outside resources telling us more. Here's a little piece to tell you what a good resource is. Then I want you to design a narrated PowerPoint, Google Slideshow, Key Prezi, video, any of those that does not exceed 10 minutes. Properly cite your sources in that presentation and basically eight to 12 slides or videos. Um, and this is what I kind of, kind of want you to do. Introduce, why did you pick the subject? What are the goals of the presentation? So what do you want us to learn? What is it something, uh, why is, is it important for us to learn about this subject? How does it relate to the subject of intimate relationships? And what are recent views on the subject? So if I see sources that come from 1958, it's not that 1958 doesn't have good material, but 1958 dating is not the same as 2019, exclusively talking. <laughs> and so we want to make sure that we're at least up to date. Why should others be interested in it? So this is the thing where you get to go to your platform and say, I think it's important for us to know about the gender spectrum because as we learn over time, it continues to add more and more to people's identity and people start to create their own identity on almost more than a spectrum, but like a sphere, you know, that's kind of how I like people to get into that. Why is it catchy? And think about things, um, questions, thoughts. What did you learn? Tell us what the resources told you. Help us to understand that. Help us to see, see statistics. Help us to see how young people or middle-aged people or older people are thinking about the subject, you know, kind of give us an idea of what experts might say about the subject. And Whose work is interesting to you? Why? Why is it important for us, for example, to Sunday study the Kinsey scale? Or maybe that's an outdated scale. Do something a little bit more. Finally, do a conclusion. And then there's all kinds of ways to do voiceovers here. And I'll have a couple others that will be there. 
Okay, I think that that finally uh, gives you an oversight uh, of the whole course. Um, anytime, once again, you need to get a hold of me, go back here to the syllabus and it's on that very first page. Please put that number into your phone. Feel free to text me. If there are things that need to be late or you're running into issues, I would respond to you as quickly as I could. Make sure to look at the discussions, the files. I will be uh, keeping track of your grades as quickly as I can. This is something I might do a couple times, which is use the chat room. Let me go ahead and use that. And then again, for our conferences, it's gonna go down here. Oh, right here is how conferences, we, we sign into that. It's not available yet, but when we do our two or three conferences, uh, this is how you'll get into that. I hope you're excited. I'm excited. I love to do this. Um, and so I look forward to our six weeks together. Have a wonderful couple of days on your weekend, and we'll start discussing next week.